Hey guys, what's up? It's Neon Tiger. Welcome back to Project Cars. You can see my beautiful Ford Escort Mark 1 RS 1600. Rev the engines. There we go. We'll split the difference here, get between these two. Let's see if we can dive down on the inside a little bit. Yep. Ooh, that guy went wide. Everybody went wide. That guy went way wide. But here we are, we're at Olden Park. I'm in the, the touring car, uh, the TC2 Historic Cup, I think it's called. I'm not gonna pause and take a look yet. But started out sixth, passed now for third. Got this teal guy in front of me. Catch up to him. Car wants to go a little bit wide, but this is the, the full Olden Park course. We're just going to have to catch this one guy right here in front of us, and we should be good to go. Alright, so we got a little bit of that hairpin, and then we got the chicane up here, and these are the only two real additions to the course that weren't raced on before in the, the two previous versions of the track we've raced. So we're going to catch this guy. And there's also the other car that's available to drive in this series. A cat. It's like a cat or a small child screaming. I don't know what the hell that is. Um, but the other car that was available to race that we chose not to race, and probably rightly so, because it's a little bit slower. The Mercedes Benz SEL 200, or is it 200 or the 300? SEL 300 is also in the game and available for this cup. We chose the Ford for reasons. I don't quite know. I think because the paint job looked nicer. <laughs> That's why I picked the Ford. I took a look through all the paint jobs that were available and I'm like, uh, these Mercedes ones are not that great. Is that cat again? Or small child. Oh, drifting a little bit there. So we got three laps around here around this full circuit. It's actually nice to race the, the real full track now. Something we haven't done yet. Still about a second behind this guy. There's that sound again. Get good acceleration off the corner here. He seems a little faster than us quite sure where he's getting his speed from that we don't. Maybe it's just he's got better entry. Yeah, he's definitely pulling away. Seven seconds faster on that lap though. That's good. If we can catch him through this chicane, if he breaks up a little bit more than we have to. Like so. We got him now. We got half a second on that chicane, and we can kind of draft off him a little bit here. Pull closer, and oh, 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 oh! I'm not sure what that was. Oh, he had. I, I don't know what that was. I hit the curb. I hit the curb, and it was very hard, and bounced me sideways. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> oh, that was my mistake. I'm sorry. Nope. The curb got me. Oh, that was that was poor. I was I was hoping I would be able to just kind of get inside of him and set him up for the. Uh, the final right hand turn there. That was, the, that was the goal. I was trying to get inside. We're going side by side through the left hander where he'd have a slight advantage and then I'd be able to to get him on the final turn going into that long straight where I'd have a little bit more of an advantage on the speed it looks like. Oh, please don't tell me he's still there. I'd feel really bad if he's stuck there at that corner. But we got someone, someone on our tail now. Break here and 
right. Take the inside line. Just have to run a good lap. There we go. Oh, and they're fighting back there. And that'll slow them down a little bit, which is great. It's just what I need. Okay, 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 okay. Alright, we're fine. We're fine. We should be good to go to the end here as long as we get our marks. Avoided the curb. Okay, he's not at the curb anymore. That's great. And then around here, onto the back stretch, hit the gas. Go up and over this hill one more time. A bit slower in the last lap, but that's fine. About keeping ourselves in P1. We're gonna fight. They're fighting. Oh, 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 oh. All right, that's that was that was all right. Acceptable. Right, and boom! There we go. Finish. Finish as in finish line, not like finish drivers. There we go. Yeah. You're not a rally king, so we're not finish. <laughs> uh, but there we go. First place. Historic touring, historic TC2 UK trophy is what it's called. There we go. The uh, top Mercedes. Oh, that's a 300 SEL, not the 300 SEL 300. Okay. Uh, yeah, top Mercedes Benz was ninth. So we got 25 points. Didn't have any fast times, but uh, we won, and that's all that matters, right? So let's hop off to the next race. Well, we've got ourselves a surprise here. I'm at Spa, and I'm racing the M1 GT4 Cup, which I forgot I had last year, but I couldn't race because it was too late when I actually got access to it. Um, but yeah, we're at Spa. I'm in a BMW M1 Pro car. I'm going up uh, Radion right now. And we cut, lap <laughs> cut the track there. Went a little too wide. But yes, this is the famous Spa circuit. Its full name is Spa Francor Shaw, which is not pronounced Frank or Champs. There is a view for in the U.S. If you pronounce it that way, you're an idiot. Um, don't know how to speak Belgian. Or is it maybe, maybe French? I know parts of Belgian. No, it's Belgian. So, this is a track. If you've watched my grid auto sports series, you've seen Spa before. You've... You know this track. You know exactly what you're getting. It's a very long, very windy... Oh, the pylons. Hit the pylons, all the pylons. But it's a very long and windy track. I love this car, by the way. It's just... It's so angry sounding. It's just ferocious machine. Like, the... Uh, every time I accelerate the, um, the force feedback on my controller, it's just, like, rumbling all over the place. It's like, oh, I can feel the engine. It's beautiful. It's the uh, spa. Get to the flat section with all the curves here. Take this right hander, the sharp right hander, and the more shallow right hander into the long straight. It leads up to the bus stop chicane. So I should mention, uh, for those of you that have also seen my Grid Auto Sports series, the the start finish line here is not the the Grand Prix start finish line, which many of you may be more familiar with it's right after the bus stop chicane it's actually on the uh, actually on the straight that leads up to Eau Rouge and uh, ready on is where the start finish line is it's the endurance like touring car kind of finish line there's bus uh, bus stop chicane and then here's the this is the GP start finish line right here and the GP pits as well and their first turn, their first turn is this this sharp turn right here. That's our last turn because our start finish line is right here on this back stretch. This is where we will be starting 
our race at. And then there's Oruz, which is actually the left-hander, and then Radion is the sweeping right-hander up to the top of the hill. Very important to know that if you know anything about tracks, because a lot of people get that wrong. They think that Eau Rouge is the the full the full left right combination. It's actually two turns. Best sector one time heading into this sight little chicane. And there's the right hander here. And head downhill into this fairly nice little. I like this turn. I've always liked this turn. It's a nice little downhill right hand 180 turn into the nice 90 degree left hander here it's a nice combination it's a it's a fairly enjoyable track to drive and hopefully we can put this on pole we won't have to worry about scrambling to get past everybody going through all of the uh, long straights which can be kind of a nuisance and I think the uh, the Blanc Plain Racing Series is actually doing their 24 hours of spa this weekend. I watched part of it. I didn't catch the rest of it because I was watching watching other things being streamed. And I think uh, what is today it is the 26th, so SGDQ starts today as well. Will be taking up quite a bit of my time this week when I'm not streaming or making videos. There we go. So yeah, break slightly for that. You remember this that left hander right there? Every time I'd break there in Grid Autosport, the AI just went straight off to the left and just went like way off on the side, which is not the best. So we'll get through bus stop chicane again, onto the GP straight. And they got to this final tight hairpin corner. Which you can easily, easily overshoot. But we won't, because we know what we're doing. There we go. I mean, I love this paint job on that car. It's just beautiful. And fast lap. They do, like, uh, the... The Slightly Mad Studios crew have done a pretty good job with the paint jobs. I feel like most of the ones fit the the cars and the time periods they're trying to encapsulate. Like this feels very you know 1980s. It feels like you would see you know, something like this on a pro car back in the day. Obviously, the sponsorships are fictional because it costs a lot of money to do all the licensing for. You know, all the sponsors. And I don't feel like they they want to go through with that. Unless they can sign some kind of agreement, you know, with various companies. Now they have they did sign one with Panasonic, which is why you see them in the game. I think I think a couple of others too. Obviously the the tracks have their various sponsors and whatnot. And some of the cars also, like I mentioned this when we did the Monaco special, some of the cars, like there's that Coca-Cola, that's obviously part of the spa circuit, and I went off the track there. Uh, but I'm fine. But yeah, some of the sponsors like like the one on the, the Lotus 78T that was sponsored by a tobacco company, so can't quite have that in games anymore since tobacco sponsorship even for you know historical things like that is still into no no so they would have had to do something else I guess which they did again we got to the bus stop chicane have a good breaking zone entering into it a little wide and so we've got maybe enough time for one more lap. I don't know if we'll get all the way through, so we better make this one count because laps are fairly long here. It's about two and a half minutes around. So we need to have a good lap. Turn nine, two, 
230, 231. That was slow, okay. I must have lost time somewhere. That was actually a good little section right there. A little squirrely going up into Radeon. Coming out of Eau Rouge. A little squirrely, but we'll be alright. Now, if we get to complete our lap, I think we'll be okay. As far as time, if we don't, then I think we'll probably have pull anyways. So we're really, we're just trying to race ourselves at this point. Help if I didn't have to let off the throttle there. There we go. Very nicely done. This car is actually a real joy to drive. I like the M1. I've never driven it in a, in a game before because it's not really been in a game before. I don't know if it's been in like Gran Turismo and I've just never bothered to drive it. Or if it's been in Forza and I've never bothered to drive it. I'll have to look that up. But uh, I've never actually recalled driving this car before in any game. It's, it's a real fun car to drive. It feels very balanced. It doesn't feel like it wants to oversteer too much. It doesn't feel like it's you know, power-wise, like it's going to get out from underneath me at any point. But it's still fast enough that... You know, it's it's just all around. It's a really nice, solid car. It's it's probably not you know a supercar or anything like that, but it is it is a good racing car. That I feel like if I had to do a a whole series just with one type, this would be kind of the car I'd want. This this '80s style touring car from way back in the days when they had a different groups like Group A and Group B. And, the good old days. Qualifying session over final lap. So yeah, we get we get one more one more lap. Oh, that's gonna screw that up. I'm too deep into the the bus stop chicane. That's gonna be not so good. And why are my tires so cold? My tires, my rear tires have not warmed up at all. Which, which of course leads me to believe this is not a a rear wheel drive vehicle. But, It's definitely got the engine in the front, it feels like. And how do we do? 231.78, is that fast enough? Nope. 231.78 is actually what uh, Alan Lee Smith drove on the second lap, his fast lap. So we drove a 239.93, not too bad. All right, so we are starting P1. Man, this car is beautiful. Two laps around Spa, which would be like nine laps around your favorite circuit because Spa is so long. I'm gonna go up into everyone's favorite corner. I kind of wonder how many people are gonna run wide there. Oh, yep, some people did. I knew it would happen. Always does. Somebody always runs wide in that section because it's uh, very easy to do. But they, that's why they have so much runoff space up there because it's such a, a fast section that they have to have that runoff space or people would be crashing into walls all the time. And oftentimes they do, even with all the runoff section, they still do hit the wall because it's very, very easy to, to... Oh my god, it's so bright. Driving into the sun, I hope I'm wearing a tinted visor. That even hurts my eyes and that's not a real that's not a real sun. I feel like I need to go get my sunglasses. Put those on so I can drive properly. Alright, here we go. Down into this little section. Oh, oh my eyes. I'm sorry, YouTube. I'm really sorry about that. The sun is in like the worst possible spot. It's, I hate that. I hate that when you're driving your car. And, like, this happens to me about, you know, two or three months of the year when I'm going home from work. And the sun is just at the right spot because to go home from work, I have to drive. Uh, I have to drive or ride my bike or walk from east to west. So the sun's always setting, like, usually in the spring and the fall. And... There comes a point where the sun is just like perfectly positioned so that even if you put your, your sun visor down to your car, 
It's no, okay. So that guy didn't break. I didn't think he would. Yeah, it never breaks there. But you know, you, you know what I'm talking about, right? The sun's just like poking through your sun visor, even though you have it down. You're like, oh, why is this not working? I might as well just put it up and just deal with it. <laughs> I hate that. I really do hate that. It's it's like such an inconvenience because you get home and. I don't have far to drive, but I'm sitting there being like, I can't see anything because the sun blinded me. All I had to do was drive two minutes home. Okay, so break here. There we go. Two light taps of the brake is enough to get us through, and we're on to lap two. We pulled out a bit of a gap. That's good. 2.4 second gap. That's. On this track, that's not a whole lot, simply because of the, the length. We are running that faster, so that's good. A little bit loose on the brake there. There we go. Get that section all right, and I'm being blinded again. I think one of the other things I like about this is if you take a look on the kind of the bottom down there where the, the indicators are for ABS, traction control, and stability control. I do have them enabled just because I am playing this casually. You'll notice even though I am kind of slinking the car around the corners, they're not really lighting up too much. Oh, a little bit of stability control right there. But they're not really lighting up a whole lot. Which is awesome. It means this car drives very well, even at high speeds, and that's it's a very desirable for me in my driving style, which is a little bit aggressive. So I lost about a second of time there. Yeah, he's within a second of me now. A little bit slower through that section than I wanted to be. We're still. Still doing okay. There we go. We only got a tenth through there, so that's that's fine. That's acceptable. I'm gonna pull right up to me now because there we go. Pull right up to my bumper because they were slowing down for the bus stop she came. We get a good acceleration out of there, so we pulled like three tenths of a second out. Let's go around here one more time. And now this is where we're gaining a lot of speed and a lot of time. We went by about two seconds. There we go. Nicely done. This is such a beautiful and scenic uh, little route there. I like that.